I think we should end it. This is what she said first. My girlfriend, Sakura Makage, and I were working for the same company and started dating. We went out for about six months, but... Okay, well, thanks for everything. I chose to agree when she said she wanted out. Objectively, you may think it was a clean breakup. Subjectively, it was hardly a clean breakup. I just want to say, I'm really sorry. This guy sitting next to her was Shuichi Yasaku. He's super good looking and super popular among the girls in our company. He says he's sorry, but he is so not sorry. How could Sakura be attracted to this guy? The reason why we are breaking up is because Sakura now has feelings for Shuichi. I found that out a month ago, and I knew this breakup was coming. Yeah, whatever. Why would she bring him when we are breaking up? I was so mad about how insensitive she was. So I got up to leave. Thanks for meeting us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Come on, Shuichi. You're really cool, but manners. I got even more upset by this stupid conversation, but I just left. I was mad and a bit shocked. I, Shinji Ando, am working in an advertisement company. It is a startup, but I somehow survived and have been working for almost six years now. I'm still pretty young, but I've earned myself a directing position. That being said, uh, I want to quit. I never felt this stronger than in this moment. Working with my ex and her new boyfriend? What could be worse than that? I don't regret the breakup. I mean, it'd be harder to keep going knowing that she was cheating. But the worst thing about dating someone from your workplace is that they're going to be around even after you break up. We're not in high school. I just need to act normal. And it's still awkward. I started to get ready to go to the office, feeling all soggy. Shuichi, can I come to your place tonight? Yeah, but it's a weekday. Can I just stay over? Do they have to be so lovey-dovey in the office? I'm not envious, but if they keep acting like that. Hey, I thought Sakura was with Shinji. Well, Sakura has always had a thing for Shuichi, so she probably moved on. See? I hear rumors going around already. I didn't mean to hide it, but this is way too awkward. Are they for real? But then... Hey, did I hear you guys are over now? You heard it, right? Yep, we're done. One girl suddenly came to me. This is Karin Miyanaga. We're the same age. She's got the modelish looks, which makes her the most popular girl in the company. People come and go in startup companies like ours. But she and I are the rare ones that haven't left the company yet. We've always been pretty close. Well, I guess Shuichi does look better than you. Do you even know that people have feelings? I didn't think I needed to be polite to you. And... Kari and I is the lovey-dovey couple. I was only talking about looks. Hey, you guys broke up, so that means you can make time to go have a drink with me, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess we could do that. Then let's go for a drink after work today. Tomorrow's our day off, so let's go out. She trying to cheer me up? I'm so stressed out. I need a drink. Nah, she wouldn't do that. Anyways. Cheers! Cheers! So we finished work. TGIF! We decided not to work late and went to our usual place that is close to where she lives. We haven't had a drink like this in ages. I know. It's been about six months. We stopped going out for drinks since I started dating Sakura, so... She was like... You can't go out with other girls, and she goes out with other guys. You did the right thing breaking up with her, you know? Maybe. Yeah. Hey, don't you think this is a sensitive topic for me? Do you not care about how I feel? Hey, I'm not this blunt to everyone. I'm just putting it out there because you don't know how to let it out. Oh, really? Yeah, so let it out. Let it out? I mean, I'm not all happy about it, but I understand. Besides, I did like her for a reason. If she says she likes someone else more, then there must have been something wrong with me. I was mad and shook, but once I slept on it, I kind of understood. Normally, people would get angry and say crazy stuff, you know. Well, this is me. Yeah, you're one of the good ones. I was taken aback by her words. What? Oh, it's just that you don't really say nice things about other people, so are pigs gonna fly tomorrow? Hey, don't make fun of me. Not bad. She points her chopsticks at me and I wave my hands to show that I surrender. I was surprised because she usually comes off strong like this. I never meant to look down on you or anything. Huh? I genuinely think that you're a good guy. Wait, what is happening? Seeing me surprised, she seemed like she couldn't stop herself. I've always had feelings for you. What? I couldn't respond any better to the words that came out of her mouth. I didn't think she would say something like that. Never thought she was able to say anything romantic, but... 
I couldn't say anything because of Sakura, but I've always liked you. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't make awkward jokes to the person I work with, especially when we're so close. True. I mean, since when? I don't want to say. Oh, come on! So, do you have anything to say? You know, I really don't know how to respond. Yeah, I get it. Okay, you can't just say thank you when someone blurts, I've always had feelings for you out of nowhere. I just broke up yesterday, and I never thought you would have feelings for me, so... Yeah, I didn't think you would give me an answer straight away, so it's alright. Then, you know, I'm gonna start trying to make you like me. Maybe she started saying these things because she's drunk. I'm not sure if she's being serious or if it's the alcohol speaking. But she said... Be prepared, Shinji. Slowly looked up all flushed. Ugh, I'm so drunk. See? You need to blow off some steam every once in a while. You wouldn't usually be like this, even if you didn't have work the next day. Yeah, sorry. Don't be. Ugh, gotta barf if I get on a taxi. Barf? What are we, college students? I haven't had this much to drink in a while, especially not in one place. Ugh, my head is spinning. If someone shakes me now, my stomach is gonna pop out. Huh, okay, Shinji, come on. After a while, I was leaning onto a girl's shoulder, which is quite embarrassing. And I was at Karin's house before I knew it. Huh? What? Is there something wrong with my room? The room is really tidy, and I see nice plants and interiors. It's a one-room apartment like mine, but it feels spacious. Okay, maybe I should reconsider how to tidy my room. Wait, that's not the point. Are you serious? You just bring guys to your room like this? Hey. I couldn't just put you in a taxi, could I? Your house is too far to walk, and my house is right there. The train stopped running a while ago, so I just thought my place would be more convenient. I understand, but... And there's nothing wrong with inviting my crush to my room, right? I'd rather have you here all the time. What? Not only did she say those things, but she's making moves now. Okay, I'm starting to believe her words now. Hey, you can use the couch. I'll grab you some water. Here you go. Thanks. And take off your jacket. It's gonna get all wrinkly. And undo a couple of your buttons. You'll feel more comfortable. Oh, I didn't think you were the type. Hey, any girl would be like this in front of the guy she likes. My face was all pale, but these words were making me blush. God, isn't she coming out of me too strong? Karin's looks are model level. Who doesn't feel anything with a girl this good looking as being all nice and attentive? But... I just ended a relationship. I'm not really ready to move on. You can crash here tonight. I mean, you've got zero energy left to even touch me, so... As Karin finished talking, I couldn't stop myself from closing my eyes, and I fell asleep. Ow! I have no idea how long I've been sleeping. Every inch of my body is sore. But I'm completely sober now, and I'm feeling better. Okay, at least I'm not hungover. Oh, are you up? As I got up, I heard Karin talk to me. What are you up to? Can't you tell? I'm making breakfast. I thought you would wake up soon. It'll be ready in a sec, so hold on. She's gonna be a great wife. This is pretty legit. Her food is good, her looks are good, and she's even good at her work. If I just ignore the way she speaks to me, she's perfect. She should have millions of guys around her. Guys much better than me. What are you staring at? Nothing. Are you falling for me? How do I make a good comeback to this? Anyways, thanks for letting me crash. No worries. And here, take this. What's this? I thought you'd skip lunch or get something random at the convenience store, so I made lunch. She made some hot pot for me. It's still warm, so I know she just made it. Uh, thanks, really. Hey, I've got some motives of my own. If you eat what I cooked and think it's good, you'd think better of me. When you give me back the container at work, other people will think something's going on with us. If you give it back to me in private like this, I will have an excuse to invite you over again. See? There's more than meets the eye. And how do you expect me to respond to this? Can you believe how strong she comes off? The next week... Here, I'll give this back. Oh, so you chose here. I do notice people staring, but I don't think it's a good idea to go to your place that often, so... Well, I wouldn't mind. I notice people around us gasping when I let out the word, your place. I feel like I'm stepping into a trap either way I go. Here, take this. 
It can be your dinner. So she said and gave me a different container. Hey. I was guessing that you would give it back at work. I was right. Oh, well, you know me well. I've known you since we started working. Besides... And she eyes the corner of the office. I wanted to see their faces when they saw us. Aw, they look shook. I turn and see Sakura looking shocked, and Shuichi looking like he missed out on something. Well, I can see why Sakura would be shocked, but... What is that look on Shuichi's face? Oh, he had his eyes set on me for a while. I was pretty much ignoring him, so he gave up. Oh, that's what it's about. Does he have to be like that when he's standing right next to Sakura? You worry about a girl who dumped you? Of course. Being dumped wasn't great, but I did like her, you know. I just wanted her to be happy, but if she can't, that's on her. You're a really nice person. What did you say? Nothing. Never mind. Karin seems to be a little upset. I have no idea what this look is about. So I just go back to my desk with the container in my hand. And I sent her a text to thank her. I work for the sales unit, and we're considered overloaded. I have to work late again? Give me some beer. Watch all the anime I've been stocking. Stop whining. Start working. Hey, what are you doing in the office so late? Well, you're not seeing anyone, so I can do whatever I want now, right? Uh, I'm not sure other people share that idea. I literally just got out of my last relationship. So, I thought, if there's even a little bit of time to make moves on you, I wanted to make the most of it. Hello, I'm working here. So, let's talk. Talk? I thought you wanted this task done. If we talk, I can never get things done, you know. Might be getting in the way, you know. What are you doing this weekend? You need to go check your ears. <clears throat> well, nothing really. Just relax and chill out. Then let's go on a date. To the aquarium. Seriously? I'm dead serious. She smiled at me like a little girl having her best time. And we're actually going. Here's our next day off. Instead of meeting outside, we decided to have lunch at her place and go out after. Now I'm waiting for her to get ready. Aw, you wanted to go out with me so bad, huh? You need a refresher? You're the one who asked. Honestly, I thought you wouldn't go. Why not? There's not much to do at home, and I thought it might be fun to go somewhere with you. I swear, you're going to have the best time ever. It's just an aquarium. Chill. What are you talking about? It's a date. We should enjoy it. A date. Well, if you go out with a girl, it's a date. If we hold hands, we would look like a couple. And we're not a couple. But okay, I'll think of this as a date. You're all dressed up for it, and you look really good, so... I look at Kari. She doesn't look too flashy. Her makeup isn't too much, and the whole chic look is making her look even prettier. I wouldn't doubt it if she told me she modeled. I've never seen anyone so beautiful and sophisticated. Thanks. I'm glad I decided to go for this look. You're looking pretty good yourself. And your hair? Do I see some wax? Hey, it's not like I don't care what I look like. I can't look hideous when I'm standing next to a cute girl. I don't want to embarrass you. Aw, that's nice of you to say. And she suddenly clings to my arm. Hey! Come on, you said it's a date. Let's enjoy it. Uh-huh. Okay, it's not like I'm hating this situation. I'm gonna roll with it. I didn't think I would enjoy an aquarium at my age, but it's actually really nice. It's really soothing. I know. How do people make out in aquariums? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never been to an aquarium with Sakura or any other girl. It's my first time to come with the guy, too. Oh my god, this was great. I want to come again. Good. I'm glad I brought you here. Yeah, thanks. If you're going to come again, you have to bring me, okay? Hari makes this great smile. I've known her long enough to know that she's not faking anything. Um, but I need to ask. Hey, Karin? Yeah? Seriously, though, why me? Honestly, it's fun being with you. I don't judge by the cover, but you're obviously super good looking, and you are my type. I'm starting to realize that you're a great person to be around, and I think it'd be fun to go out with you. It would probably make me happy. But you don't get the reason on my side. Yeah. Well, this is how I look, right? A lot of guys hit on me, and I don't like that. It makes me feel cheap, you know? Just being judged by how I look. But you were different. You were the only person who really looked inside me. Really? Yeah. Well, you were just treating me like you treat everyone else, so you wouldn't notice. 
it felt good to talk to you. I was able to come this far along in our company because you were there, and I got drawn to you. Wow. Yeah, I didn't see it myself until you started going out with that girl. I was super jealous and I hated every second of it. And then I finally realized. So, I'm sorry, but I was glad that things didn't work out between you guys, because I didn't need to give up. So, this is the whole story. I asked you to go for a drink because I needed some alcohol for help. Are you disappointed? Why would I be disappointed? Um... We're adults now. Are you saying like, oh, you can't be happy about someone's breakup? Oh, it's unfair to go after someone when they're hurt? That's kid stuff. There are girls who decide to go after someone else when they actually have boyfriends. You really helped me get over my breakup. Giving me pep talks, taking care of me when I was drunk. I really appreciate how you told me about your feelings. Shinji. Well, I do feel like it's a bit too soon. But if it's okay with you, I want you to be my girlfriend. Whew. I feel my face boiling. Regardless of my age, these things never get easy. Um, wow. I mean, thanks. I'd love to. Why are you suddenly being all shy? I can't help it. I'm not being all shy. I just can't believe it. Why? I'm so happy. I've never had a boyfriend in my life. What? Seriously? She's this pretty, and she's never had a boyfriend? There must have been millions of guys around her. I'm being dead serious. I wouldn't go out with someone unless I really liked that person. Wow. Yeah, so... You have to take the lead and teach me things, okay? And I will give you all the love I have. Her smile was so soft and cute. She seemed different from the usual cool and sophisticated version of her. I became captivated by her smile. It's making me smile too. Just don't come off too strong, okay? Ooh, I don't know. You're my first boyfriend, so I don't know how to control myself. Uh, do I need to teach you every single thing? So we started hanging around the aquarium again. Now that we're together, things haven't really changed since we got here. I feel like this is us. This feels good. Hey, the dolphin show is starting. Wow, let's go, hurry. Yeah, let's get the best seats. But now we're naturally holding hands. So the rumor that we're together spread in a heartbeat. I mean, let's face it. I'm going out with the cutest girl in the company. Everyone's interested. I'm not sure if this is the reason. Jeez. Shuichi. I feel like Shuichi is really pissed off at me for going out with Kari. I have to see him frustrated, and Sakura seems to be bothered by his attitude. Not that it matters to me anymore. Shinji, are you coming to my place today, or can I go to yours? Hey, this is our office. Keep your tone down. It's lunchtime, who cares? And you never taught me to keep my tone down. Do I have to put every single thing into words? Don't you have common sense? Don't you just get it? Since I've started dating the it girl of the company, I feel like I'm in the spotlight. The Karian has become all nice and sweet, so I guess I can't complain. One day I was taking a stroll through the park. Hey, wanna practice kissing me? My name is Soto Hikage. And it was on this day that Koharu Hamanaka, a popular actress, spoke to me. No thanks. I thought it would be the right thing to do given the circumstances. Hey, why not? Well, I really like Miss Yamada and it just doesn't seem right even if it's just for practice. There's this girl I really like and she also happens to be Koharu's relative. This all happened about one month ago. I was in class as usual when a classmate of mine named Taiho Suratake approached and started talking to me. Hey, Kage, got some good news for you, buddy. Hey, what's up, Taiho? It happens that this Saturday we're planning to go out with the girls from Yuki Girls School. Oh, yeah, well, sounds great. Have fun. Come on, man, don't be like that. Why don't you come along? It'll be fun. Uh? To be honest, I really wasn't up to it. Taiho is a pretty good looking guy, but he's got a really crappy attitude. He's always looking down on me because I'm pretty laid back and quiet. Probably just wants to use me to make himself look better. But I didn't have the guts to refuse and got talked into joining them. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. No problemo, we just got here. Man, this fake excitement. I'd rather be home. Then I saw this one girl in the group. She was hidden under a mask, a beret, and glasses. She nervously introduced herself. I'm Hanako Yamada. 
She looked a little apprehensive. Probably brought along against her will like me, I bet. What's with the mask, babe? One of those girls, huh? Take it off and boom, a beaut. Take it off, let me take a look. No, no use trying. She's always in poor health. Can't take the mask off, apparently. What? <laughs> Weird. Don't go blacking out on us today. Okay, so Hikage, you're with Hanako. You okay with it, bud? Huh? Why me? You're both the same type. Sure, you guys can relate. So I ended up being matched up with her, but I kind of felt sorry for her. After a while, the others wandered off on their own and left the two of us sitting there. Oh boy, Tayo's just ignoring my messages. Well, I knew it would turn out this way, I suppose. Because she was not really up to do anything physically active, we decided to spend our time at a nearby cafe. Uh, do you have any hobbies? No, nothing in particular. Huh, end of conversation. As you can see, the atmosphere was not really comfortable. I wonder if there's any topic of conversation. Oh yeah! Hey, do you know who Kaharu Hamanaka is? Huh? Kaharu Hamanaka? I just so happened to mention this popular idol's name and surprisingly I got a response. Yeah, I know who she is. So what? I've been a huge fan ever since her debut. Oh, is that right? Have you ever seen the TV shows or movies she's been in? Yes, a few times. Man, she's the same age as us. Really an amazing person. When she's on TV shows, she comes across as this snobbish character, but when in movies or TV dramas, she changes completely. So like that, I continued with this kind of small talk. It was then that Miss Yamada spoke up. What kind of girl do you think Miss Hamanaka is, in your opinion? Uh, let's see. Well, people say she's some super talented actress or something, but I think she's just a hard worker. A hard worker? Sure, she's a great actress and she sure has talent, but I don't think it's simply talent. Behind the scenes, she's probably working very hard to hone her skills. I mean, unless she works hard, it's probably pretty difficult to navigate through the ever-changing world of showbiz. She probably would not be in her current position if not for hard work. We're the same age, but I bet she's living a much more challenging life than little old me. So basically, I guess I respect her in that way. So that's why I want to support her as a fan. I'm so happy that you see it that way. Happy? Why would you be happy? Huh? I, well, just simply that I am happy for her, that's all. Also, she is a relative of sorts. What? She's your relative? Hearing this, I was really a bit dumbfounded. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? Wow, a relative of Koharu right before my eyes? Really? Would you like to meet Koharu? I mean, yeah, of course, but do you think it's okay? I mean, I'm just a nobody. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem. So it was decided. I would get a chance to meet my idol, Koharu Hamanaka. Later, we caught up with Taiho and the others. We kept the conversation we had just between us. The next day, we made plans so the three of us could meet. Are you Sota Hikage? Yes, that's me. My god, it's the real Kohoro Hamanaka! Um, where is Miss Yamada? Hanako wasn't feeling well and decided to stay home. Really? I hope she's okay. Let's discuss that later. Let's get going. We arrived at a small cafe. Wow, what a surprise that I'd be meeting the real Koharu Hamanaka in person. So you really were Miss Yamada's relative, huh? Yes, I heard about you from Hanako. You said that I was a hard worker, right? Uh, sorry about that. I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't worry about it. Actually, I was pretty happy that you had described me that way. For a while, we really got into movies and TV dramas, but I decided to ask her about something that I was concerned about. Oh, by the way, is Miss Yamada really okay? Are you worried about her? Actually, yes. I heard she was physically fragile, so... I heard she takes off from school on occasion and can never take that mask off. Yeah, that's right. She always seems to fall ill for some reason or another. 
I'll check up on her later on, but if possible, could you also look in on her and make sure she's okay? I'll do that. You're pretty considerate. Well, to be honest, I was a bit concerned about her. Concerned? Do you mean in a romantic sort of way? Yeah, the other day when I met her, we just talked a bit, but... Weren't you bored being with her? No, on the contrary. I had a lot of fun. Was she really able to talk with you properly? Well, I was doing all the talking, I suppose, but she's a good listener, and actually I felt comfortable talking to her. And besides, I'm pretty quiet usually, so it's been a while since I was able to talk to someone at length. I haven't seen her real face, but I just can't seem to stop worrying about her. Hmm, I see. If it's possible, could you tell me a little bit more about her? Why don't you just ask her directly? Yeah, you're right, but will she see me again? Actually, she said she wanted to meet with you again. Huh? When did you ask her? Oh, sorry. It's the time. I got some filming to do today. Please take care of Hanako. I'm rooting for both of you. She seemed to wrap things up in a hurry. She left some money on the table and then left the cafe. That evening, I sent Miss Gamada a message asking her if she was feeling well. And after a while, she returned my message. How was your meeting with Koharu today? Just as I thought, she was super nice. That's great to hear. Can you tell her thanks for me? Okay, sure. Then I got up the nerve to ask her out. I didn't get an answer from her immediately, but... Yes, I'd love to talk to you more. Yes! Great! As soon as I saw the answer from her, I was overjoyed. We made plans to meet up the very next day. Hey, how are you? Hey, Miss Yamada. How are you feeling today? I'm doing just fine. Sorry to worry you the other day. She looked like she was fine, but just in case I chose a spot where she felt comfortable. Frankly, I'm not really good with conversations, but I prepared some topics beforehand, so I think I did better than the first time. My efforts seemed to pay off as I could see that she was smiling under the mask. A little while later, as I was doing all the talking, she asked me something. Hey, Kage, why are you being so considerate to me? Huh? Is it because you feel sorry for me? Or is it because I'm related to a popular actress? It's simply because you are who you are, Miss Yamada. I just want to know more about you, that's all. You probably know this by now, but I'm not really interesting. And I can't even carry a conversation properly. Well, in that case, I'll do all the talking. I just want to see you enjoy yourself. Mr. Hikage. Oh, yes, I forgot. Koharu said she wanted to see you again. What? Does she want to meet me again? Well, if it's not any trouble. Yeah, she came all the way during her busy schedule. Sure would like to thank her properly in person. Okay, tell her I'd love to meet her again. Okay, I'll convey your message. I hope this time you'll join us, Miss Gamata, I hope. Yeah, well, if I can schedule the time. A week later, I met up with Miss Hamanaka, but unfortunately, Miss Gamata couldn't make it due to some urgent matter. I know you're so busy, so thanks for meeting with me last time. It's nothing. Hey, I hear you're getting along well with Hanako. Hope it continues. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. I told Koharu about the relationship with Hanako. So, she doesn't tell me much about herself, but I'm just happy that she would go out of her way to meet with me. That's good enough for me. I see. So, what are your plans with Hanako going forward? I made up my mind. I realized I really like her and I want to go out with her. Hmm. But, to be honest, I don't have a lot of confidence. Besides, I'm really not sure she has any feelings for me anyway. Hanako said she thinks you're great. Really? I wonder if she'll meet me again. Well, you guys seem to be hitting it off nicely. I don't see why not. But, are you sure? I mean, you haven't seen her face yet, right? I've only seen her through her glasses. She has kind and beautiful eyes. She seems very shy and basically a nice girl. Really? I don't think I have such a great personality. Huh? I'm talking about Miss Gamada. Uh, it's nothing, just family stuff. Um, uh, okay. So, once you go out with her, 
What do you plan on doing? Huh? What do you mean? Like, you know, what lovers do. Like hugging and kissing. Yeah, of course, but I don't want her to dislike me, so gradually, you know, get to know her then. You should be more forceful and just kiss her. No way! I couldn't do that! She would hate me for it! Okay, then. Want to practice with me? What do you mean, practice? I'll let you practice with me, and besides, it would be great experience for my future acting scenes. A win-win for both of us, don't you agree? Sorry, gonna have to pass on it. Huh? Why? Because I really like Miss Yamada. Even if it's practice, I don't want to do anything improper behind her back. And for you too, Miss Hamanaka. I don't want to bring shame to your good reputation. I see. You really do like Hanako. Yes. I think Hanako also likes you, so don't give up on her, okay? So Miss Hamanaka gave me encouragement again, which made me want to try even harder. From then on, Miss Yamada and I began messaging frequently and sometimes met to just talk, but I still couldn't get up the nerve to ask her to go steady. One day as I was contemplating all this, Taiho approached me. Hey man, how did it work out with that chick the other day? Well, I'm not going steady with her or anything, but yeah, it's going okay. Yeah? Well, okay then. How about a double date this Saturday? What do you say? Huh? I don't know. Hey man, don't say no, bro. I'm the guy who brought you two lovebirds together. Apparently, Miss Yamada was told the same thing at school by her friends. So this double date was set for Saturday. Hey, stop it. Your hands are so cold. Come on, what's a little hanky-panky, babe? Just seems like they're flaunting their relationship. It was then that Taiho and his girlfriend, Yukina, forcibly tried to push us together. Yeah, if you guys are so jealous of us, why don't you two shy lovebirds stick close together? Yeah, you two are the perfect couple. Why don't you hold hands at least? Come on, Taiho, cut it out! Please don't push me. Oh. Hey, are, are you okay? Come on, don't be so clumsy. Hey, come on, Ikage. Don't just stand there, help her up. I leaned down to help her up. It was then I noticed her face. Miss Hamanaka? Uh. Miss Hamanaka, why are you here? Well, I mean, this is... Of course, it wasn't just me. Both Taiho and Yukina were equally surprised. What the? You're that actress Koharu Hamanaka? Hanako, you're actually that real... the real Koharu? Yeah, that's right. I'm Koharu Hamanaka, Yukina. I'm sorry I kept it from you. Well, well, gotta say, the real thing is super cute. Hey, please don't touch me. Hey... Taiho, getting a bit too close to Hana. I mean, Koharu, don't you think? Hey, Koharu, I'll break up with this chick, so why don't we go steady? What do you say? What? What are you saying? If you go out with me, I will keep your little secret. I won't go blabbering all over the school that a famous person like yourself was masquerading as a shy little high school kid. No way. I don't want to go out with a guy like you. As I was observing all this, something inside me snapped. Get your grubby little hands off her! What the hell? What are you doing? Ow! How could you say such a thing to everyone? You really crossed the line this time. How pathetic can you get? Uh, it's you that's in trouble. People will find out about your little secret, and then what? It's all just a big joke, guys. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Whew, well, glad it didn't escalate any further. But that aside, Miss Hamanaka, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You were pretty cool back there. To be honest, I was scared out of my wits, but I thought of your acting skills and did what I could. <laughs> well, I suppose you know about me now, obviously. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Well, that's because I'm... It's because Miss Yamada's not feeling well, so you came on her behalf, right? Huh? Wow, you really are a good actress. I really had no idea it was you. Uh huh? Well, like I was saying, I was... Hey, Tayo and Yukina are gone, so why don't we go somewhere? 
what do you say? I wrote this letter out to Hanako, but I really did not have the confidence to read it. I wanted you to hear it. I am Hanako Yamada. I was a bit surprised. I wonder why I didn't notice sooner. What I mean to say is that my real name is Hanako Yamada, and Koharu Hamanaka is just my alias, a stage name. Did you really not see through it all? No. I mean, nobody would think you were some famous actress. Didn't you even recognize the voice? Well, I figured you were related, so obviously your voices were similar. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Looks like I was tricking you or something. That can't be helped. You're a famous actress. Better to hide your identity at school. I was actually a bit embarrassed, because you liked Hana, huh? Me so much. And so, I could not get the courage to tell you. Yeah, well... <laughs> So, what was this big revealing letter you wrote? Is this really the right time? Yeah, why not? Not really a revealing letter, as you put it, but I'm just gonna say how I feel, okay? I am in... At that moment, she leaned over and kissed me softly on my lips. It took a bit of time to realize that it was, in fact, Yes Yamada, not the famous actress I imagined. Wow! That was out of the blue. I just could not stand it any longer. Sorry about that. Don't be. It's just that I can't believe it. If you can't believe it, wanna try again? I just realized this, but when she takes off her mask, she becomes way more bold. After that, we secretly started dating. After that incident, she grew closer to her friend Yukina and apparently kept her identity secret. About Taiho, well, his little joke about switching girlfriends went viral on SNS, and his girlfriend wanted nothing to do with him after that. But I'm grateful to him for bringing us together. I'm Manabu Muramoto, a shy and introverted guy in his third year as a working adult. As usual, while everyone else is busy having lunch, I'm alone at my desk, opening a combi bento box. Bon appetit! It's not like I'm lonely. I'm more comfortable being alone than being with others. That's why I'm often ridiculed by those around me as a shady character. Hey! You're eating your lunch by yourself again? Poor guy. Just like that. Leave me alone. It's none of your business how I spend my lunches. Don't try to be so tough. I know deep down you actually want to eat with other people. But since you don't really know anyone, you're eating all by yourself reluctantly. You're wrong. Really? My co-worker, Chihaya Kusamoto. She teases me the most within the company. As an extrovert, she probably just wants to rub it in my face. How about I eat lunch with you, then? What? Because I can't stand to watch you like this. I feel bad. No thanks. <laughs> it's none of your business. You don't have to worry about it. Hey! See ya, Kusamoto. What's up with her? I'm just eating alone because I prefer to. Although, I'm surprised at how Kusamoto keeps coming back to try to talk with me every time. If she persists any longer, I can't help but think that she might even like me. Well, probably not. I'll just leave it up to her having a bad personality. Yeah. Hey, it's Friday! Let's go for a drink! After work. With that proposal, everyone decided to go for a drink after work. Except me, of course. I never participate in things like that. Rather, I never get invited. Come on! You should come for once! Or so I thought. Arata Ikegami, my junior colleague whom I've known from university. I don't know what it is, but he seems to look up to me. He even joined this company just because of me. He's a cute junior. He is truly gifted at socializing with others. Always caring and kind. On top of that, he's good-looking. The word extrovert is no longer sufficient to describe someone like him. A title like The Light for the People is more appropriate. But seriously, why does this guy look up to me? It's fine. You know I'm not a fan of gatherings like that. <laughs> yeah, I do! But I want to drink with you from time to time, senpai! Well, I don't. That's more like it! No mercy for your one and only ally! Don't say one and only. Well, he is. Oh, 
Ikigami, you're coming tonight, right? Yes, I will be joining! And Muramoto, no need to ask, I already know the answer. Yep, I'm going home to watch TV. Huh? You're so boring. Don't judge my entire life just out of one scene of the whole entire book. Well, this scene describes your whole entire book. That pisses me off. But I have nothing to say because it's quite true. There's nothing wrong with that! It's up to the person if they want to join or not! Senpai does what Senpai wants! Ikigami, you don't have to defend a guy like him, you know? No, I... If anything, Muramoto could learn a thing or two from Ikigami. He's good at socializing and popular within the company. Yeah, yeah... Uh, please don't make fun of him like that! Arata... Senpai's way more gifted than me and a lot more charming than you think! Oh, stop it. Nobody would think that guy is charming. There is! Who? Um... Huh? Like you! Huh? What? D don't say something so stupid! Why would I... You're always trying to talk to him! I I'm just teasing! Stop misreading! Even during work, you're constantly looking at him! No, I don't! There's no way I would! Uh, hey, Arata. I'm glad that you're trying to have my back. But there's no way she's interested in me. That's a bit too much of a stretch. Y yeah! There's no way I would be interested in such an introvert like him. See? Even if you pay me 10 million yen, I would still say no. If anything, I would pay 10 million yen if he does anything to get me interested. This girl. I'm just trying to back you up. You don't even have 10 million. How can you say you would pay 10 million? What? Huh? All right, then. I'll take that challenge. Bring it on! Huh? What? Arata, why is he taking the challenge all for himself? Please be prepared! If you show even the slightest hit of interest in him, that'll be 10 million yen! Hey, wait! Let's go, senpai! Where to? There's no time to be drinking! Let's go! You're the one that wanted to go out. Wait a minute! All right, then! They left. Oh, no. I've been interested all this time. So, what are we supposed to do? Supposed to do? You're the one that took the challenge. What are we going to do now? Oh, you seem pretty amped up. I completely assumed you wouldn't care about things like this. You're right. I don't. But it's about time I get her back. She's been bothering me for too long. Wow! This guy took the challenge himself. Why is he acting like it has nothing to do with him? So, what are we gonna do? You got plans? Just to let you know, I have no experience with girls or anything like that. Ha! <laughs> That's no problem! If it's you, this is an easy victory! We basically won before the game even began! Huh? <laughs> well, I'll give you some advice here and there, okay? Don't give me a ha-ha. Why does this guy keep acting like this is somebody else's responsibility? You're supposed to be standing in the front lines. Weekend passed, and on Monday... Oh, good morning. You were here? I didn't notice because your shadow is too thin. She was acting as if nothing happened a few days ago, treating me the same as always. Good morning, Kusamoto. Um, yeah. Good morning. Huh? Once you show up at work, greet her nicely with a smile. That was his advice. Is something like that really going to work? If she falls for me for something as small as that, I wouldn't have any problems here. Well, if it's coming from the lady killer himself, I guess I should put some faith in him. He said good morning to me. He even showed a little smile. <laughs> lunch break. Oh, eating your lonely lunch by yourself again? What a sad person. Why don't you eat with somebody? Kusumoto, would you like to go to lunch with me? Else... What? M m me What? You want to eat with me that badly? You don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, <laughs> fine. I guess even for you, the loneliness was getting to you, huh? I'll eat with you if you insist. 
I said you don't have to if you don't want. I will! I told you I will! Ask her to eat lunch with you! Usually, if someone you don't like asks you to have lunch with them, I'd imagine them to decline. But I guess that's not the case. I wonder if such simple actions can really get Kusumoto to like me. So, where are we going? Cafe? An Italian restaurant? How about a beef bowl? No way! What are you thinking? I've never had lunch with anyone before. <laughs> Today's a good day. First time he ever asked me for lunch. Although it was a ramen noodle place. Wait, why am I getting excited? Ugh, he never showed me any sign of interest before. So small things like that are getting my heart fluttered. Always rejecting people's invitations, showing no interest in me. All he usually does is annoy me, but why do I like him so much? Um, Kusumoto? Uh, yes? The documents I asked you to complete, are you finished with them? Come on, we need it for the meeting tomorrow. Don't tell me you... Oh no, I completely forgot about it. Uh, this is terrible. What time can I go home today? See ya. What? You're working overtime too? No, I'm done. Huh? Then why don't you go home? Did you just come here to make fun of me? Correct. Uh, also, uh, came to give you this. Is this... Can't believe you really forgot. I gathered all the data you need to finish that document. You noticed? Well, I at least know who's in charge of which document. And yours was missing, so... Why would you do something like this? There's no whys or buts. But if someone can't complete their work, it's normal to follow up on them. What are you saying? He annoys me, as always. He never gets along with anyone, never needs anyone's help, and just stays to himself silently. And yet, you can do everything on his own. Seriously, that guy. Do you remember what happened two years ago? Why all of a sudden? It was when I first joined this company. I broke the USB and lost all the important files. You helped me out that time, too. Don't remember. <sighs> That's exactly what I don't like about you. Seriously. What? But, thanks. <clears throat> You're welcome. Thanks, huh? What a surprise. I guess she could say thank you. Hmm. Oh, she can be cute from time to... Huh? You lost your mind? Why would you think she's cute? I'm out of it. I need to get home and sleep. And the next day... Muramoto. Huh? What's up? Um... That's rare. She hardly ever stutters her words like that. I'm here. From yesterday. What? I was able to finish it thanks to you. He even complimented the work. So, um, I made lunch. Hmm. What? Um, nothing. Are you someone that doesn't like eating other people's hand-cooked meals? No, 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 that's not what I mean. I was just speechless because it was such a surprise. H how is it? It's good. Really? What a relief! Huh? What? Um... Who is this? What is this cute being in front of me? Who the hell is this alien creature in front of me wearing Chihaya Kusamoto's mask? And two weeks went by since taking on Kusamoto's challenge. K Kusamoto? Huh? What? Today, after work. Do you want to get dinner with me? With me? Of course. <coughs> well, only if you insist. Even if you go home, you're probably just going to eat some instant ramen by yourself, so I'll go with you just for today. All right, uh, see you later. Before I knew it, our relationship had been changing. And I can't believe I'm feeling a sense of comfort in that change. I'm the one that used to think that spending time with other people was the most dreadful thing. <sighs> Sentai, how's it looking? What? Oh, Arata. Asking someone for dinner? How rare of you! Cut it out. You're the one that's giving me all these instructions. Huh? I never asked you to ask her out for dinner after work, though. Same thing. Using that time at work and using your personal free time is a big difference. I never would have imagined someone like you would be willingly giving up your free time. What are you trying to say? Nothing! I'm just glad! Huh? 
You're very strong and independent, but sometimes I worry. <sighs> it's good to have someone you can lean on occasionally. Stop saying like you know it all. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'd like to think I know a lot about you, senpai. Huh? Jeez. How come you know more about me than me? Seriously. <sighs> what am I gonna do? That's the first time he's ever invited me outside of work. I even agreed to go. It's as if I'm stepping one foot to be his girlfriend, isn't it? Ugh, I'm getting way too excited again. Get yourself together. There's no way that guy would be into me. I understand. The only reason he asked me out is because of that stupid challenge. I can't help myself from feeling happy. This is everything I hoped for from the beginning. As long as I keep this challenge going, the longer I can spend time with him, which isn't a bad thing at all. I just have to make sure not to show him any sign of interest. Although that's kind of sad in its own right, too. Ah, that was delicious! For someone like you, you picked a pretty nice restaurant. I'd be happy to go again if you invite me to places like that. <laughs> Why are you so quiet? You're ruining the mood, although there wasn't really anything to begin with. These past two weeks, we got along pretty well, right? Huh? Huh? Y you're kidding, right? I told you, I'm just here to console your loneliness. So, you still don't think anything of me? Am I just a dull and boring person to you? Uh, y yeah. I see. Let's just end it right here then. The challenge. Huh? I lose. Even though it was Arata's idea to take it on in the first place. S stop being so pathetic. You're giving up already? Yes, I give up. Ugh. I fell for you, so this challenge can't continue. Huh. I don't want you to just fall for me. I want more. I don't want to play a game that ends when one just falls for the other. So this game ends here. I lost. From here on out, it's my own challenge. Until I get you to fall for me. You like me? Yes, I do. You want to be my boyfriend? I do. Even though I know you're not interested. <gasps> hmm? <laughs> uh, Kusamoto? Yes! Huh? Hey, that was a real confession, right? It wasn't a joke, right? Y yeah, it was. Ah! Uh, um, Kusamoto-san? Huh? What? Are you glad to hear all of that by any chance? Of course I am! Do you know how long I've had an unrequited life for you? Huh? Well, if you really insist, I feel bad for torturing you down, so... I can date you if you want. I don't know how you managed to keep that act together for so many years. I, Yuto Kitami, was a senior in high school at the time. And there was this perfect girl who I'd been longing for since my freshman year. Please! Please go out with me! Absolutely not. I've told you many times, I have no intention of going out with you. And I'd always be rejected. To be exact, I've been getting rejected by Hikari Nanjo for the past two and a half years since I entered the school. So, yesterday's after-school confession was also a bust, huh? This cool-looking guy is Moroyasu, my only friend. He's a bit of a strange guy. Popular with the ladies, but only into fictional girls. Man, this is the 102nd time I've been rejected. <laughs> At this point, it's like a running joke! Poor Nanjo! She has to deal with this all the time! Hey, you're supposed to encourage me. You really don't give up, do you? You've got, like, an unbreakable spirit. What's so good about real girls anyways? Well, she's... She's way beyond all that. She's at a level of her own. There's no way you can compare her to a fictional girl, and there's no heroine as perfect as her in real life. But she's still a real girl in the end, right? Well, whatever. I can't believe you keep trying for the most popular girl in school, though. Yeah, maybe a nerd like me doesn't even stand a chance. You know what? I might let it go if the next confession doesn't work out. 103rd time's the charm! I'm not going to bother picking apart your logic, but man, that obsessiveness of yours! Or, uh, I guess your single-mindedness? I don't hate it. And if it doesn't work out, let's just go buy anime merch together. Thank you, Motoyasu. 
I'm going to confess to her one last time after school tomorrow. If it doesn't work out next time, I'm going to give up. That's what I told myself as I kept my mood up for tomorrow's confession. And finally, on that day... Please go out with me! I keep telling you, don't I? I'm never going out with some gloomy nerd. I gave up. My earnest 103rd confession ended in complete failure. Or maybe I chose to fail deliberately. Alright. Sorry. I've been a nuisance, haven't I? But thank you for humoring me and my feelings. What? Kitami? I have just one last request. Please, find someone wonderful. And have a happy life with them. That's all I ask, so... Bye. Huh? What do you mean? And just like that, I put an end to my two and a half years of unrequited love. I told Motoyasu what happened. Well, I don't think you actually have to give up. No, I'm done. You were right, Motoyasu. The more I think about it, trying to go out with the most popular girl was just too impossible. I've learned my place. That's not what I meant, though. What did you mean, then? The problem she has with you is that you're a nerd, right? If that's the case, why don't you stop being a nerd and act more like a normie? Motoyasu has a point. But if I just stop being a nerd here, I would be denying who I am. I'll just have to find a new girl who understands my interests. After that, I started focusing on studying hard for college. Now, this spring, I'm starting my first job out of college. In the end, I graduated from college without meeting my perfect heroine. After six months had passed since I became a working adult, I got a call from Motoyasu. It's been a long time, Yudo! There's a high school reunion coming up! You'll be coming, right? Huh? A reunion? When I heard high school, the first thing that came to my mind was Nanjo's face. Five years have passed since then, but I was wary about seeing her again. If I could, I'd like to erase the fact that I confessed to her 103 times back then. But Motoyasu was persistent, so I reluctantly decided to attend. Then the day of the reunion arrived. I arrived at the venue an hour late due to work. It's been a long time, Yudo! The hero always arrives late, huh? We've been waiting for you. Hey, you traitor. How are things going with your real three-dimensional girlfriend? <laughs> are you still holding a grudge? We're doing good. Been together for three years now. I heard that Motoyasu got a girlfriend when he was 20. It was great news, but I still felt like I'd been betrayed. I'm kind of jealous of him. And right as we were talking about that... Good evening, Motoyasu. And Kitami, too. To my surprise, Nanjo had approached us. She's... become even more beautiful than back then. For some reason, I felt a pang in my heart. For whatever reason, she got closer and spoke to me. Hey, it's been a while. How have you been? Uh, yeah. What are you doing now? I got a job in the IT sector. This is kind of awkward. Maybe it's because we're both still thinking about those days. I didn't want to touch on that topic if at all possible, but... Hey, that reminds me! Yujo confessed 103 times to you in high school, right? Wasn't that annoying for you? There are people in this world who can't read the mood. I scowled at him for saying something he shouldn't, but he ignored my gaze. I was a little annoyed back then, but now I... I'm sure you two have a lot to talk about, so why don't you go sit at the counter over there? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Motoyashi pushed me and Nanjo toward the counter. We sat down, but to be honest, I didn't know what to say to her. Should I, as a guy, speak up first? Oh, oh um, um... Hey, so... Bad timing. I spoke over her. Um, what is it, Nanjo? Oh, uh, are you still into nerdy stuff? Huh? Yeah, it's my hobby, so... I see. What kind of titles are you into these days? She's not actually interested. That was what went through my head. Maybe she's just trying to be considerate, but... Are you... Interested? In high school, you didn't like nerdy things, right? So, about that... I'm sorry for making fun of you being gloomy and nerdy and stuff. I was shocked when she suddenly apologized to me. After that... There was an awkward silence between us. 
Then Motoyasu came over. Are you two going to the after party? We have to let the restaurant know how many people are coming! Yeah, no, I'm... I think I'm not. Oh, I guess you two haven't talked enough, have you? I'll let the organizer know you're not coming. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Actually, Nanjo, you're looking pretty red there. Yuto, make sure to get her home safe, okay? See you later! Motoyasu said, and left in a hurry. But, getting her home safe... I'm supposed to do that? In the end, I did stick around to send her back home. I'm sorry, I've never been good with alcohol. That's alright, but um... What? Don't get so close to me! You're pressing up against me with those soft... We managed to arrive at her apartment building somehow. Um, I want you to go up to my room. What? Are you feeling that tipsy? No, it's not that. It's just, there's something I want to show you. Show me what? Instead of answering, she grabbed my arm even tighter. When I entered her room... Are you alright? Can you get to the- Wait, what is all of this? Don't stare so much, it's embarrassing. I was surprised at what I saw. On the shelves, there were manga, novels, Blu-ray DVDs, and even posters and figures. The room was absolutely full of nerdy merch. That could only mean... She has a live-in boyfriend? This must be his stuff! Oh no. If he found out I was here... Okay, I'm going back home now. But Nanjo lay down on the bed, completely vulnerable. Wait, I can't sleep like this, so... Will you help me undress? What? No, that's too much! Please, you can blame the alcohol. Do whatever you want with me. Wait, wait, no, I can't do that! You have a boyfriend, don't you? What? A boyfriend? Everything in here is your boyfriend's hobby, right? I can tell from just looking. It's the same kind of nerdy room as my own. There's no way this is Nanjo's stuff. <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend. What? The only guy who's ever been in this room is Yuki, Tommy. I've never had a boyfriend ever, actually. Seriously? She started to explain in a quiet, embarrassed voice. I'm a nerd, too. Huh? What? But in high school, you were... No way. That can't be true. The most popular girl of our grade, who never liked this stuff, is actually a nerd? She then started to tell me about what happened after my last confession. I had my eye on you for a long time, you know? You were so persistent, but then one day you started focusing on your studies. I thought you might have lost interest in me, and then I kept thinking about you often. So I secretly asked Motoyasu about your hobbies. Motoyasu told you- He was happy to share the information, all about your favorite anime, manga, and light novels. I didn't know that. I had no idea. So, while trying to understand you better, I got hooked too. I see. But at the same time, I started to feel really guilty. Guilty? I wondered why I looked down on this amazing content when it was right in front of me. Then I wondered why I said such terrible things to you and... Hey, I don't mind at all. I was the one who kept pestering you, so I apologize about that. No, actually, I was really happy you did. Huh? You kept professing your love to me for two and a half years straight. Oh, well, I... That's why I couldn't forgive myself rejecting you, just because you were a nerdy guy. For the past five years, I've been moved by such good content, and I've been thinking about you the whole time. So, Kitami, this is a little late for me to say this, but would you go out with me? Really? I think I've become a lot closer to you. Well, maybe not at your level just yet. To be honest, I was a bit confused at the time. The perfect school beauty and me, the nerd, we were worlds apart and out of reach. And now she was approaching me on her own. I'm glad she confessed to me, and I don't want to make her regret it. In the end, I'm still in love with her. So I only had one answer. I'm so happy right now. Yes. Let's be together. Really? You'll forgive me? Well, I never thought I'd fall for someone that hard in high school. And to be honest, I still really like you. Oh, I'm so happy! 
I love you, Kitami. Yeah, I love you too, Nanjo. And so, after a long blank of several years, we started dating. That day, Nanjo and I, or rather, Hikari and I, talked about our favorite anime and manga until the morning. When I called Motoyasu to report this to him, he was happy for us. He didn't even mention that he had been acting as Cupid behind my back. All he said was, I'm glad for you too. He's a good guy. Two weeks after we started dating, I'm sorry, I have to work this weekend, and I think I'm going to have to cancel our date. Don't worry about it. We're both still in our first year of working. Are you tired with work though? You okay? Our schedules have been difficult to align, but Hikari never complains and takes good care of me. I really appreciate that. I'm worried you're pushing yourself too hard. Oh, wait! I just thought of something. What is it? Your office is closer to my place, right? Then why don't you come live with me? What? You want us to live together? I took Hikari's suggestion and started living with her. We split the household chores, but we do most things together. I can't deny that Hikari is more proactive about it, though. She seems to like taking care of me. Looks delicious! Wait a little longer. On holidays and days off, the two of us spend time together reading anime and manga. Since we share the same hobbies, we naturally have more topics to talk about and less to worry over. Sometimes we play games until morning. I've almost been late to work a couple times. Uh, I lost again! <laughs> Let me try it next. A month passed by in such a happy and relaxed cohabitation. One day, we went to Akihabara on a date. Hey, it's you! Motoyasu? Are you on a date too? I saw Motoyasu's girlfriend for the first time, completely gothic lolita in fashion. Her name is Miss Hayasaka, and she usually works as a clerk. What do you think? She's super cute, right? Well, yes. The gothic lolita style suits her well. Yeah, and when she says something really harsh to me in this outfit, oh my god, I can't resist! Right. I forgot this guy was a total masochist. <laughs> anyway, about Hikari. Thanks again, Motoyasu. What do you mean? I didn't do anything in particular. I just gave her some advice, since Nanjo seems to like you so much. <laughs> I'm really glad I met you, Motoyasu. I'm genuinely glad to have such a good friend like this. Well then, good luck to you both! See you later! Thank you, Motoyasu! Hey, back then, you were looking at his girlfriend, weren't you? Uh, well, she was in that gothic Lolita outfit. So you like gothic Lolita fashion? Well, it's not like it's limited to gothic Lolita. I wouldn't look as good in that, would I? I'm not petite like her. She seemed concerned about her body type, but I told her she needn't worry about it. Hikari is tall and has great proportions anyways. Maybe Lolita-style clothes wouldn't suit her, but she looks great in practically everything else. You're fine just as you are, you know. I always think you're attractive. But, but, I feel like I'm losing or something. Hikari's jealousy is kind of cute. When I see these new facets of her, I keep falling in love with her over and over again. However, one day, when I came home after working overtime, I'm home. Welcome back, master. What? For a moment, I thought I'd entered a maid cafe by mistake. To my surprise, Hikari was dressed as a maid. Why are you... dressed as a maid? Uh, I guess this doesn't suit me. Oh, was she still thinking about the conversation from the other day? No, it's not that. You're super cute. I'm just a little surprised that it came out of nowhere. Oh, really? Good. I thought I'd surprise you a little. I'm glad you're pleased. This is, to be frank, absolutely amazing to see. So, I'll be calling you Master today. Oh, uh, that seems a bit... Master, would you like to have dinner? Or a bath? Ah, uh, give me a minute. I'm gonna die of cuteness. Wait, I forgot something important. Something important? Yep, give me a moment, and let's start over again. With that, Hikari ran back to the other room. Meow? What do you think? What? She came back with cat ears and a tail! This is kind of embarrassing, Meow. What do you think, Measter? This is too cute! Okay, Measter, I'll be serving you today. Oh god, this is the best! Hikari, 
I love you so much! Uh, wait! This is so sudden, Master! There's no need to explain what happened after that. A year had passed since we started living together. And now we're finally getting married. Please take good care of me, Yuto. Of course. I love you, Hikari. For our wedding's dressing change, we of course had... Cosplay! <laughs> this is so on character for you two! Motoyasu, you made your fiancé wear a costume too? Nah, this is her formal wear. I guess that's one way of putting it. <laughs> hey, you two. How do you like this flavor? It's good. Tastes perfect. Nice. Oh, but be careful. You've been eating too much lately. Uh, now I'm kind of afraid to get on the scale. I'm so happy to have met such a wonderful partner in my lifetime. They say that a husband and wife are mirrors to each other. So I hope we continue to support each other as we move forward to a happy future together. Hayato, I've had a crush on you since we were kids. Please make me your girlfriend. My name is Hayato Takakawa, a second year high school student. One day on the way home, my childhood friend in the same high school as me, Miyu Takahashi, confessed her feelings for me. It's so sudden. I would have never thought that you would say that to me. That's because you've always been so oblivious to my feelings, Hayato. I want to be around you more. I want to do things that couples do with you. Sorry, Miyu, but I'm not interested in normal relationships. I have a different way of satisfying that need. You're going to choose a roleplay simulation game over me? See, you get it. Miyu, I think that it's better that you find a normal guy to be in a relationship with, rather than asking me, a game otaku. You know you're a pretty popular girl, right? I want you, Hayato! I'm not going to date anyone else! I can't be in a relationship with you, Miyu. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on! Now that I turned Miyu down, I thought that our friendship would be over. But the next day, Miyu talked to me as if nothing happened. At the same time, this was the day that she started insistently confessing her feelings to me. Hayato, are you reading a romance novel again? It's my hobby. I spent my breaks in school reading. I was alone and didn't make an effort to make friends. Because of that, my classmates thought that I was an introvert. The only person who tried to talk to me was Miyu. Romance novels are okay, but I want you to look at me too. Miyu looked into my face. I lifted my eyes and looked into Miyu's face. There, I looked. I didn't mean it like that. I was saying that I wanted you to be more interested in me. I've known you since we were kids. There's nothing else about you that I need to know. I'm grown up now. There's a lot about me that you still don't know. Like what? I'll tell you if you agree to be my boyfriend. I don't need to know then. Why aren't you curious? Don't play with my emotions. Conversations like these became a part of my normal life. The day after Miu asked me to be her boyfriend, she became more aggressive. Almost like she had forgotten all about being shy. Didn't seem like she was going to give up. Takakawa's at it again. Takahashi-san shouldn't bother with a guy like that. I could hear jealous voices from the boys in my classroom. Mia was popular with the male population, so they didn't like the fact that we were close. Hayato, let's eat lunch together. You always eat with me without permission, don't you? Yup. Nothing was different about Miyu coming over to my desk to eat lunch with me during break. Hayato, let's exchange one of her egg rolls. Sure. Don't you get bored of always doing this? Because this is what I have to do if I want to eat your cooking. I made my bento boxes on my own. Miyu liked to eat for my lunch, saying it was worth more because I had cooked it. The egg rolls that you make are so good! It's so good that I want you to make me lunch too! Tastes the same as the one you make, Miyu. It's completely different! It's a home-cooked meal made by someone I like! You say you like me so casually, but I have no intention of making lunch for you, you know. There's nothing wrong with just telling you how I feel, right? If you didn't know how to cook, I would have made you lunch every day. No thanks. I didn't want her to do that for me when I wasn't even her boyfriend. Plus, I could do a lot of things on my own, so there weren't any things that I had to rely on Miyu for. Hayato, let's go home together. Okay. After school, Miyu and I walked home together. Midterms are next week. Hayato, are you studying? I'm going to start today. You're so smart. You don't study every day, but your test scores are always so high. It's just a combination of focus and memorization. If I lose all distractions, I can show results in a short amount of time. Hey, Hayato, 
I have a suggestion. We should study together. I'm more productive on my own. I want to study with you. If there's someone next to me, I'll be able to work harder. Your grades are high too, Miyu. We don't need to go through all the effort of studying together. I can't concentrate very well on my own. You won't mind as long as I don't bother you, right? Miyu, aren't you just using studying as an excuse to spend time with me? There's that, but I actually want to study too! Even if you spend more time with me, my feelings aren't going to change. Still, I want to be with you! I'll study seriously until we finish our midterms, please? No, I won't be able to focus if someone else is with me. Why not? You're being so stingy! I'm fine with being stingy. Even if we don't study together, Miu should be able to get grades above average. There's no need for me to spend my time on her. After the midterms were over, our ranking grades was posted in front of the school. My score was placed at the number one at my grade level. Hayato, you're so amazing! You have the highest score in our grade! Yeah, I was able to get my usual results because I didn't have to babysit you. Stop making it sound like I was going to bother you. I told you that I study better on my own. You even called me stingy just because I didn't study with you. If you're this smart, me being around you shouldn't have affected your grades. Who knows? We'll never know unless we actually test it out. Then let's test it out for the next exam week. I'm not going to risk my grades if I don't need to. You're so mean, Hayato. Even then, Miyu was placed in the middle as well. She didn't need my help. Takikawa-kun, do you have a minute? After school, I was waiting in the classroom for Miyu to come back from the office. That was when Ayano Shimizu, the most popular girl at our school, came up to talk to me. We were in the same classes, but this was our first time talking. Yeah? Do you need anything? I have something I want to talk about with you. Can you give me a few minutes? Sure, if it's going to be quick. I followed Shimizu-san to the rooftop. Takikawa-kun, I have feelings for you since we were freshmen. Will you please be my boyfriend? Is this deja vu? After suddenly being told this confession, the memory of Miyu confessing her feelings to me popped into my head. Is this a joke? Shimizu-san, if a girl like you is confessing her feelings to me, it's probably some kind of punishment game, right? I'm serious. I was never able to say anything because Takahashi-san was always by her side. Then why now? I assume that you and Takahashi-san were a couple, but you guys aren't, right? Well, yeah. Miyu is just my childhood friend. I thought that you were just joking when you would ignore Takahashi-san's flirting. But when I looked at you, I could tell that there were no romantic feelings involved. That right there is true. Then it wouldn't be a problem if you dated me, right? If you don't like Takahashi-san like that, then date me instead. I can't do that. It's not like I'm not in a relationship with Miyu because I don't like her. I'm just not interested in being a relationship in general. I'll do whatever you want to be your ideal girlfriend if that's what you want. I don't have an ideal girlfriend. I don't get why you even like me in the first place. I'm just an introverted otaku, you know? You're like that on the outside, but different on the inside, right? You're smart and you can even cook. I think you're a pretty ideal boy. Are you planning on using me for my brains? You know I won't help you study even if we date, right? It's not that. I just started seeing you that way because of the fact that you were smart. I said that because you said that you don't know what I see in you. Takikawa-kun, you're a lot more charming than you make yourself out to be. Think so? Being told that I was charming didn't quite fit right with me. Suddenly... Hayato, what are you doing with Shimizu-san? Miyu showed up on the rooftop. Sorry, Miyu. Were you looking for me? No, our classmates told me that you left with Shimizu-san and headed to the rooftop. Anyways, what were you two doing? We were just talking. I just finished confessing my feelings to Takikawa-kun because I wanted him to be in a relationship with me. What? Miyu's face was full of surprise after hearing Shimizu-san's words. Hayato, what was your response? I told her that I wasn't interested in being in a relationship. Oh, so you're not going to start dating Shimizu-san? Takikawa-kun, you're not going to make me your girlfriend? I told you I don't plan on having a girlfriend because I'm not interested in relationships. It won't work. Hayato's that type of person, so no matter what you say to him, Shimuzu-san, his feelings won't change. That might be the case for you, Takahashi-san, but that doesn't mean it'll be the same with me. Hey, Takikawa-kun, won't you date me just to test it out? 
I'll show you how good a relationship can be. Shimizu-san hugged my arm as she made her suggestion. Hey, if it's going to be like that, I'll be the one to show Hayato how good a relationship is. Hayato, make me your girlfriend instead! Now it was Miyu's turn to hug my other arm. What is this situation? Reminds me of a reality simulation game. I don't plan on dating either of you. Hayato, of course you would compare the situation to a game. But if this really was a game, don't people usually choose their childhood friend? I think it's more fun to choose your classmate rather than going with some basic plot. Takikawa-kun, choose me. I don't plan on playing this reality game. But at this rate, things won't end. For me and Rishimuzu-san, you have to choose. Why do I have to choose between you two? Isn't there a none of the above option? I think the best thing to do here is to go on a date. If you still aren't interested in a relationship, it'll help us give up. I agree. Hayato, go on a date with me. What? The two of them were insistent, and I was forced to go on a date after school. Why are we at the gaming center? You like playing games, don't you? Not these types of games. We're here anyway, so let's play! Miyu pulled me to play air hockey. After I played against Shimizu-san too, Miyu and Shimizu-san played one-on-one -on -one as well. Shimizu-san, you're pretty good! You too, Takahashi-san. Two of them were having a heated competition. I couldn't tell whether they were friends or enemies. Hayato, come closer to me! Hey, it's not like we're a couple. Why do we need to take a photo booth picture? It's normal for friends to take pictures in the picture booth, too. We're at a gaming center, so this is customary. So this was your plan. After seeing Miu's satisfied face, I realized the real reason Miu had brought me to the gaming center. She probably knew that I wouldn't agree on another date, so she probably wanted to keep something as a souvenir. When I fit in taking picture with Miu, I was forced to take pictures with Shimizu-san as well. Even though Miu was happy after taking pictures with me, she looked upset after she saw that I had also taken some with Shimizu-san. Dates and cafes come hand in hand. Is that how it works? There were a bunch of female customers at the cafe that Shimizu-san brought us to. There were a bunch of couples there too. I couldn't help but feel like I was the odd one out. Since the two girls were fighting about who gets to sit next to me, I sat across from both of them. I drank my coffee after our orders arrived. That was when Shimizu-san offered a bite of her pancake to me on a fork. Takikawa-kun, open wide. I'm not gonna take a bite. You're not excited that a girl is feeding you? Not at all. This is normal for couples, though. But we're not a couple. Plus, Miyu is glaring. Shimizu-san seemed to finally notice that Miyu was glaring at her from the side. Takahashi-san, did you want to feed him too? Hayato doesn't like those type of things. I can't. That sucks. This... That sucks. This pancake is delicious. I'm going to the restroom. Shimizu-san, are you serious about having feelings for Hayato? Of course I am. I wouldn't be on a date just for the sake of it. I appreciate the fact that you forced him to go on a date because it meant that I could go on a date with him too. But why do you like him that much? You've never shown it until now. I was thinking about you, Takahashi-san. But since it looked like you guys wouldn't be a couple anytime soon, I thought I would give it a shot. I was interested in finding out what kind of person Takikawa-kun is, because he wouldn't budge no matter how much you flirted with him. The reason Hayato won't date me is because he's only interested in his reality simulation games. As long as Hayato doesn't show interest in girls in reality, I don't think he would agree to a relationship with you either. Is there a reason he likes his games so much? Everyone was jealous of him in middle school because he was smart. That's why he became isolated for a while. Then after he started playing his games, he stopped worrying about what other people thought about him. I think he was avoiding having to form any type of relationship with people. I didn't know that. But in that case, wouldn't he change his mind after seeing how girls in real life are better? I agree with that. That's why I'm not going to give up. If he says that he won't be in a relationship even after he starts showing interest in a relationship, I'll admit my defeat. But Hayato's just afraid right now. You sound so confident. Then when Takikawa-kun realizes that he's interested in a relationship, he'll be mine. It's not going to be easy to win Hayato over. I'm definitely not giving up either. Takikawa-kun, thanks for hanging out with me today. So, what did you think? Do you want to be my boyfriend now? My mind hasn't changed. I told you from the beginning that I have no interest in a relationship. I guess this wasn't enough. 
If that's so, I'll do my best to make sure that you'll be interested in me. You don't need to do that. I'll see you in school tomorrow. After saying goodbye to Shimizu-san, Miyu and I headed home as well. Hayato, it was so fun hanging out with you. It's been a while since we hung out like that. It felt like you guys dragged me into a crossfire. Two girls are fighting over you, Hayato. Isn't this like your dream? Don't confuse reality and games. I only enjoy those things inside of games. I'm not that knowledgeable about reality simulation games, but aren't they all about ideal relationships? You play those types of games, but you never thought about wanting a relationship in real life? Not really. Reality games nowadays are super detailed, so it's more about enjoying the plot. It's not like I'm playing because I want to know what being in a relationship feels like. You're too obsessed with your games. If you don't face reality, Shimuzu-san and I will be able to give up on you. What do I have to do to make you interested in relationships? I mean, if I start going on dates, I'll have less time to play games and things like that. If I have time to waste, I'd rather be playing games. You need to have fun in real life too! It's fine that you have your hobbies, but take me seriously for once. Are you going to be okay if Shimizu-san and I continue to pursue you? I didn't know what these two were going to do at school. At the very least, the boys in our class were jealous of me because I hung out with Miyu. If Shimizu-san, the most popular girl in our school, hung out with me too, I can imagine that the boys wouldn't be happy with me at all. And that's a problem. Right? I don't think you're in the greatest situation either, Hayato. Ever since middle school, I was sick and tired of everyone being jealous of me. I stopped caring about what other people think by drowning myself in the world of reality games. At this time, games might not be able to help me anymore. But relationships? What do I even do in one? You don't need to think too hard about it. I like you, Hayato. I want to be around you more. I want to make fun memories with you. I want to cuddle with you. All you need to do is have thoughts like that about another person. I've never felt that way about anyone before. So everything that Miyu was saying didn't quite make sense to me. I don't really get it. But if I'm capable of feeling like that, I want you to teach me how to. I know I'm not the best guy out there. Are you okay with that? Of course I am. But does that mean we can be a couple? I don't know if we can be a normal couple, but Miyu, you were the one person who's always been at my side. So I want to take you seriously. I had to think about relationships seriously after Shimizu-san confessed her feelings to me. But dating Shimizu-san while leaving Miyu on the sidelines somehow felt wrong to me. If I was going to answer anyone's feelings, I wanted it to be Miyu, who had openly declared her crush on me this entire time. I'm so happy you're finally seeing me like that. Trust me, I'm going to show you that relationships in real life are so much better. The next day, I explained to Shimizu-san that Miyu and I had decided to become a couple. She was surprised at first. Still, she said she understands because Miyu had always been by my side. I'm not sure if I'll be able to be a good boyfriend. Still, eventually Miyu will teach me that even I could be in a proper relationship. Can I... he... yours again? What? Um... Sure. Who would have thought that the school Madonna would approach me like that? Let me explain. I really like you! Please be mine! Um... no. And just like that, I, Takashi Ito, was rejected in an instant. So how did the tables turn? It all happened a week ago. I was thinking about how I got rejected by Usami. Takashi! Heard you got rejected by Usami again! <laughs> yeah, third time's the charm, so I thought. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why don't you just give up already? We're talking about the Princess of Thorns here. Princess of Thorns? That was Usami's nickname. Anzu Usami, the school Madonna. Her skin, white and crystal clear, on top of her slender figure, made her seem like an ephemeral being. You just want to protect her. Her distant and somewhat cold manner. Guys who got rejected by her came back in wounds. Hence the name, Princess of Thorns. You must be a masochist, asking her out three times like that. No, it's just that I really, really like her. Eh, whatever. By the way, did you know? Usami goes to a curry place by herself after school. No way, I don't believe it. Usami going to a curry place by herself? 
There she is! Just like the rumor, I found Usami entering a curry shop all by herself. No, it can't be! There's a possibility that she just happens to live in the same building! To find out, I followed her in. Welcome! Same thing as always, Anzu! Extra greens and a soft boiled egg on top. Got it! She's got her own order! She even knows the staff! Here's your curry noodle. <laughs> curry noodles? She even wears the paper apron! And look at that smile! I guess the rumors were true. The way she slurps those noodles is so cute! Does she not burn her tongue like that? Can I take your order? Uh, I'll have the same thing she had. Okay. Curry noodles with extra green onions and soft boiled egg. Usami likes curry noodles? If that's the case, I can ask her out for some curry. Wait, it's delicious! The next day, I lured Usami out to follow up on my plan. Hey, if you'd like, do you want to go out and eat curry noodles with me? Curry... noodles? She's biting! I found a really good place, so I was just wondering if you'd like to come. How's that? Just give me the name of the restaurant. Damn it! What's important is not the place, but who she goes with! No, Usami would rather go alone. It was the day after that, still heartbroken from yesterday. I made my way over to the school cafeteria. No way. She's eating curry noodles even at school? Hmm. Ah, uh, her smile is so nice when she's eating curry noodles. I'm still hurt from getting rejected yesterday, but that doesn't change the fact that Usami is so pretty. I've forgotten what happened yesterday and got lost in her beauty. On the way home that day, as I was walking out of school by myself... Huh? That's Usami. Is she going to the curry place again? She seems to be in a good mood. Yeah, she's probably going to that curry place. I began following her out of curiosity. Looks like it's a different place this time. What if she's a regular there too? Has she decided? That's unfortunate. It's closed today. That means she might head to a different one. No, no, no. It doesn't matter where she goes. She has no interest in me. Then, just as I was in my head... <sighs> what?! For whatever reason, Usami fell over to the ground! Are you okay?! Uh, uh, she's shaking! Does she have pre-existing health issues? Hey, what's wrong? Usami, your face is blue! The, the curry place. It's closed. I was so excited. Huh? It seems she fell into shock after realizing the curry shop was closed. What an overreaction. Are you hungry? Yeah. <sighs> Fine. Where are you taking me? You want to eat curry noodles, right? I'll take you if you don't mind. Really? She sure likes her curry. Afterwards, I took her to my place and made curry noodles for her. Sorry for the wait. Is... this...? We had curry last night. I don't know if you like it, but... Sorry, this is all I got! <sniffs> wow! She's eating already?! Hmm... It, is it good? Yes, very. Oh, I'm glad. I'll take those plates for you. Do you have rice? White rice. Huh? Y yeah I do. This feels so strange. This pretty girl who even gets good grades? The Princess of Thorns? Anzu Usami? She's at my house, eating curry noodles like a kid eating ice cream! Even at an extra rice! People won't believe this when I tell them. Mm, so good. That's good. Thanks. Made me a meal and even helped me out back there. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Can I just ask one thing? Why do you like curry noodles so much? That's like asking why the answer to 1 plus 1 is 2. Huh? What do you mean? 
I just like it. There's no reason. People just make up the reason afterwards. You... just like it. I see. I was quite convinced by her explanation, because the reason why I liked Usami was the same. I just did. It was six months ago. I just happened to scrape my knee during gym class. Ow! It stings! What happened to you? Wait, is this the rumored girl? Also known as the Princess of Thorns? <laughs> I just fell. Let me see. Ah, thanks. No big deal. You usually have band-aids on you? I injure myself pretty often, too. I see. Usami, you're pretty kind, huh? Maybe she's just like me. Not really. I'm just part of the Health Centered Committee. That's a no. I knew she didn't have any feelings for me, but I did, for her. So I asked her out three times. No, it's four times if I count the rejection from last time when I asked her for curry. But it's about time I put an end to my feelings. She's probably tired of it already. Plus, her liking curry noodles and me liking her are completely different. I liked it ever since I had it as a child. I see. It's the taste of your childhood, huh? But your curry noodles taste better than the ones at the store. It's nostalgic, warm, and the taste. I really like your curry noodles. Uh, so cute. R really? It's just leftover curry with noodles on top. I want to eat it again. Okay, I'll make it next time. We have curry once a week, so the day after that... Right now. You want it now?! In the end, Usami ate two bowls of curry noodles with rice at it each time. I was left feeling a little bit happy, although it was such a strange way to get to know her. It was the day after. What had happened yesterday almost felt like a dream. I was eating my pork cutlet lunch when Usami came over to me. Can I sit here? Um, uh, yeah. Go ahead. A bit awkward after what happened yesterday. Why is she sitting next to me? Plus, she's eating curry noodles again. <sighs> How many times a day does she eat that thing? Is that my pork cutlet? I see. This was what she was after. She just wanted extra toppings. Pork cutlets are the best eaten like this. You need to try it. Um, that's... Here, open up. Can I? Those chopsticks. Usami was just using them. She's even trying to feed me. Stop overthinking. Delicious. The cutlets soaked up in the curry soup enhances the flavor of the pork. Pork cutlet curry is good too, but but this is just delicious. Food reviewer? Thanks, Usami. I'll have to try this at home next time. Um, about that. Huh? What is it? Um... Can I eat yours again? Huh? Y yeah but there's no more leftover curry. I do have some instant curry, but... Yes, curry noodles made with instant curry are good too. <laughs> Look at the Princess of Thorns and Kanto. Those two, are they together? Damn, I'm jealous. <laughs> Kanto finally did it. What do you mean? Well, wait to the end of the tunnel when you persevere. It's love, man. Love. What? After school that day. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Hey, what are you doing? I can't wait for your curry noodles, Kento. <laughs> it's not like I'm looking after a little kid. Something's pressing up against my back, and it feels pretty bit... Never mind. Usami continued to come over a few times a week for my curry noodles. She just came to eat curry noodles. Nothing more, nothing less. But I started liking this strange relationship. Even instant curry? What a strange girl. This reminds me. When I was little, there was one time I made a meal for someone. <coughs> hey, 
Hey, what's wrong? You're not from around here, are you? I'm lost. I see. It's okay. Let me take you to the police station. Okay. Are you hungry? <laughs> okay. Why don't we stop by my house before we head to the police station? It's nearby. Huh? This is tasty. Really? It's just curry noodles. Is it your first time? Yeah. Um, how can I thank you? No, don't worry about it. But... It's fine. Let's just go to the police station. Mm -mm. What? Thanks. Um, th thanks to you too. Afterwards, I took her to the police station and went back home, without mentioning my name. Yeah, I had something like that happen when I was a kid. <gasps> I wonder what happened to her. Hope she's doing alright. Well, it was a long time ago. She probably forgot about it. <laughs> she was a little bit strange, too. <laughs> huh? Why are you angry? Ow! That hurts! I had no idea why Usami was angry. From the next day, Usami was just as usual, which was a bit of a relief. But it almost seemed as if we got a little bit closer after that. I... Hanzu Usami have always been the shy and quiet type. Apparently, people call me Princess of Thorns behind my back. In reality, I'm just extremely shy. Then, I started liking someone. He's in the same class and someone I rejected three times. His name was Kento Ito. I'm getting sleepy after eating so much. Usami, if you want to go home, you can. Just leave the keys in the post box. He's sweet. Even after getting rejected, he makes me food that I like out of the kindness of his heart. Not only that, he was my very first crush from the time he helped me when I got lost a long time ago. But I can't just tell him I have a crush on you after all this time. Thanks. I'm not fair. I'm waiting for him to ask me out one more time because I can't do it myself. I like you, Kento. You didn't have to wait for me to wake up. You even did the dishes? Thanks. It's nothing. Hey, I was thinking of eating curry noodles at the restaurant tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and the odd relationship with the Thorn Princess continues. It might be a while until we really get close. <laughs>